Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In our today's video, we're gonna see a new sort of animation that is the background animation. We're gonna create a background wherein we are going to have some floating animations in our background. So to do this, we are just going to use HTML and CSS. So let us start. This is our Visual Studio code. As we all know, this is our index.html, this is styles.css, and this is the preview tab. Now let's add our HTML content. Here we're going to write HTML5 and inside this HTML5 we're going to link our CSS style sheet as well. Just add link and here is CSS styles.css so it is linked. So whatever we're going to write here everything will be shown in the preview tab. So in our body I'll be creating a section or you can also say I'll be creating a division here. I'll be creating a division with a class. I'll be creating a division with the class name as background. Inside this class division, I'll be creating one UL. For this UL, I'll be giving it as square or the shapes that I'm going to add. And inside this, I'll be creating some 9 to 10 LI list, LI list items. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, let's save it and let's start with the styling. Before that, let me add one H1 saying floating squares animation. Save this. In the styles.css, first we're gonna start with the body margin for the body should always be zero and the padding for the body will be zero again next style let us style with the section that is we have created that is a div so let's style this text in the last so first for the divisions that we have created we're going to style the data first for this section first we're going to add background inside this background we are going to add linear gradient in this linear gradient towards a top, I'm going to add pale violet red comma and plum. So this is the floating that we have now. And for this division itself, I'm going to give the width as 100% and the height as 100. We have this background now what i'm going to do is i'll just add it to my complete body itself the width and the height as well to the body so this is how we are going to get the animation here so after this let us style the squares that we want dot squares or whatever it's written here let us just copy this itself to avoid the mistakes, control C and control V. But we need to proceed it with a dot because it is a class. And once I'm styling it, I'll be giving the position for them as absolute. From the top, they should be at about zero. From left as well, zero. And the width, they should be of 100%. And height also for that block should be 100%. If there is any overflow, it should be hidden. So this is it. Now next, dot square li. So what are all the list items that are present here? We are going to style these list items in our squares.css. I'm going to add the position for them as absolute. From the top, okay, we have styled the top and the left here, so no, no need to style it again because this will be the base for all our squares. So, next, after that, for all the li display block list style. So, these list style patterns that are there, I just don't want them. I'm just going to give a none. Now, we can see the dots that, dot, that were available here. They are gone. So after doing this, width will be 40 pixels, 
height will be 40 pixels background color the background will be rgba red will be 221 the green i would like to give it as 160 again 221 and this will be of about 0 0.8 now you can see that the cube has been already created here because it is the same color you cannot see that cube i don't want it in the top but i want it in the bottom so for the bottom i'm going to give a minus 150 pixels save this now it is gone in the bottom i'll give a minus 180 pixels fine save this next after doing this i'll just be adding the animation just to see how it is going to float up and float down so animation, the name of the animation I'm going to give float for about 10 seconds will be the time. In finite, it should repeat itself infinitely and it should be linear. In the, for, the, for the animation to work, we all know that we should add the keyframes. So in order to add the keyframes, at the rate keyframes, the identifier should be the name of the animation that we have given here. And here I'm going to give from, that is from the top to the bottom, transform, translate in Y direction. That is, it should come up. So translate in the Y direction and it should be of 0 and it should also rotate itself to 0 degrees. So this is from the start, when it is going to start. And when it is starting, the opacity of it should be 1. That is, it should be clearly visible. And the border radius that is there, it should be 0. That is, there should not be any border radius. Now, when it is at the urge to finish, that is, when it has come to a certain extent here, I want certain transformation for that. So, what I'm going to give, transform again, translate to minus 1000 pixels. And with that, it should also rotate to 720 degrees that is it should take the rounds you can also change this based on how you want it so now you can see it is rolling itself and it is going upwards and it is going now now the opacity that is there it is still one the opacity that is there it is still one now for the opacity to decrease now i'm going to add opacity should become zero as it is going to go now let us check about the opacity here as it is going up, it is just vanishing. Can you see this? It's vanishing. And also, as it goes up, the border radius should go up to 80% of size. Now, let us see this. Now, you can see that the border radius is also decreasing, decreasing, round, 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 and it is vanishing itself. So, this is how you can use it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this 0 0.5 so that it goes completely vanished till here. Now you can see it's getting vanished, right? So it just goes up, it just floats and it just goes up. Now to get the rest of the content, all we have is we have certain allies that we have already listed over here. Now with these allies, we have to work. And these allies, how we are going to do is, we're just gonna add them with the help of nth child. nth child is pseudo code. Now, first one, and the child of one that is the first li that is there so you can use any uh, kind of content here you can also change the color you can also use for only the border anything whatever you want you can just add the styling over here so what i'm going to do i'll be changing the width of this width should be about 80 pixels and height also should be about 80 pixels with this from the left it should be about 25 percent and animation now we can see the next one it is coming and we can see so this is one and this is one can you see this is 40 and this is 80 pixels now what i'm going to do i'll just add some animation delay for that so that both should not come at once one should be back of the another so i'm just going to add the animation of 0 0.5 seconds we'll save it now let us see how it is going to come now this is back of this so if I'm going to give it as one second, it is more beautiful than that. Can we see that? Yes, exactly. 
So this is how we are going to create the floating balls. Now, after this, I'll just be copying this one and I'll paste it. Now let us style for the second child. For the second child, what I'll do is I'll just make this as 20 pixels of width and 20 pixels of height. And it should be at about 15% and the delay should be 2.5 seconds. Now let us see how it is going to come. So it is, you can see here, 2.5 seconds is too much. I'll just add it as 2 seconds. Perfect. Now we are done with 15% and 25%. I'll just copy this, paste it over here. For the third one, I'm just going to add 5 pixels and 5 pixels. This should be at about 30 pixels. And the time duration should be 2 seconds itself. Now let us see how it is going to come. Okay, 5 pixels is too small here. I'm just going to add 51 pixels and 51 pixels. Okay, we have it here. We'll just make this as 35 pixels. All right. Next, the next square, that is square number 4, at about 35 pixels. So we can see this here. Yes. In the same way, the fifth one, fifth child, it should be 40, 40 pixels at 75 pixels and the delay should be 0.5 seconds. Save this. Save it. Let's copy this. Paste, paste, and paste. This will be for the sixth child. So this is the animation that we have uh, done here. So let us see in our live server how it is going to turn out. Okay, this is how beautifully the animation is being uh, turned out in our live server. Let us just style this uh, text here. Let's just add h1 font family. Let's say cursive font size 50 pixels. Place item, center, text align, center, and color of the text will change it to white. Save this. So this is how the animation can look like and this is how you can give any style of uh, any text content in your page. So we just want these things to be dark. Just choose some darker color so that these squares that are there, they can be easily visible. So let us change that as well here. Let's make them a bit visible. So all you have is here, make them visible. Yes, this is how you're gonna make them visible and just change the opacity of that if they are too dark. Plum was perfect here. Yes, so this is the animation you can work with. Just refresh this. This is the animation that you have. This is all for today's video for the next. Let's meet in the next video with uh, some other topics of uh, HTML and CSS with some other animations. For more such videos on HTML and CSS, subscribe and hit the bell icon. Till then, keep learning. Bye-bye.